Hello everybody, it's Di Laughing and welcome to the 18th and final edition of my point scoring challenge up to the, the end of uh, obviously episode 17 of the present, present reborn issue. Uh, whether I continue on after 18 comes out, I probably will actually because it's been a lot of fun. I must admit I have enjoyed thoroughly trying to cook up ways of defeating the major reborn battles with just a few Pokemon. And it has been kind of fun, although not for the casual player, I must admit. You do have to spend an awful lot of time training a number of Pokemon in order to do well at this. But there we go. But it has also allowed me to start the game from the beginning and produce um, a, sex a series of other videos, such as Mega Locations, uh, Silvani Memories, and so on and so forth. Um, so while I'm on the subject, um, I was thinking this is um, there's a few things that the game kind of needs to tweak uh, in order to prevent players doing what I've done because obviously I've demonstrated that actually most of the gyms are very very easy uh, because of a certain certain circumstances first thing I think that needs to be altered is the power of battle items uh, the, 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 at the moment they raise your stats by two stages I think that's just too much it makes a setting up process very easy the player can identify the lead Pokemon that's going to come against them and then set up using um, battle items which which ramp up your stats too much. So I think a single stage increase would be far better. And I just touched on the second point I've got is that the reason it becomes rather easy is that it's set, the first Pokemon is set that you encounter in all these, all these battles. Uh, for example, the gym leaders, People will say, oh, I could easily set up on this Pokemon because I know it's this. So I think to make the game more of a challenge and to keep it interesting for repeat players such as myself, I think it would be better if the AI didn't necessarily bring out the same Pokemon to lead. Um, that there would be an array of different starting Pokemon to keep the player on their toes. Um, because I think, again, that just helps setting up process when you know that the first Pokemon is going to be such and such, you can obviously come up with a strategy to, to set up on that Pokemon and then sweep the rest of the team, which is a shame because obviously Amethyst has spent an awful lot of time putting in a lot elaborate and um, interesting teams together. But of course, if you can set up on the first Pokemon, it all counts for nothing because you can sweep the rest away. So I think, yeah, to, to make it more varied and interesting, vary the first Pokemon. And I would also go another couple of stages as well. I think uh, it would be better if the AI had a, had a series of Pokemon in a squad, maybe 10, 12 Pokemon, so that the six you fight would be would vary from back, from time to time. Um, again, to keep things more varied and interesting and challenging for the repeat player. And I'd even go one step further again and maybe have different move sets on the Pokemon. So that just because you have a Pokemon you're facing, it doesn't necessarily have the set four moves it could have a different move set because if i'm fighting my mate i don't know what moves he's put on the pokemon it's all part of the of the guessing process and it, and it makes it more um challenging so yeah i just thought i'd run those parts i mean i don't doubt amethyst will uh, will probably hear about this but um i know she has eyes and ears in most places so if she's listening Bear in mind what I've, what I've got here and um, what I've done and perhaps you can change things to stop unscrupulous players like myself sweeping aside your, your gym battles with ease. Right, so before we move on, I'll give you the battle itinerary for the final episode. Okay, so the battle itinerary for episode 18 is as follows. Now, there's only one storyline battle and that's against the Mario in the gym. So in order to have a couple of battles in, I've dragged up a couple from the Mega Stone side mission. So once you follow that, there's a couple of really good battles actually. Um, first one up will be against Master McCrezzy in um, Spinal Town. You have to get his autograph and if you keep pestering him, he will battle you. So that's going to be our first battle. Then we move on to Eustace and his cohorts, Mastermind Eustace on the rooftop. Um, now that's a real tough battle because you have a double battle against his cohorts first but then immediately afterwards without any chance to heal up you have a singles battle against Eustace himself. That's really tough. Um, so interesting to see how you can come up with a concoction to get through that with few Pokemon. 
I mean, really is a proper six-on-six -six battle, but can you do it with less? That's the challenge there. And with that in mind, it's giving me an idea for the 18th Jim Amaria. Um, now, a lot of people were saying it's really easy, the singles battle, because the first Pokemon, um, the Rotom, always uses uh, Reflect, and you can therefore set up against it, Reflect and Light Screen, so you've got two turns to set up against it, and it's quite predictable. Um, so what I said we're going to do is you do the singles battle first, save, save prior to the battle, do the singles battle, and then you have to go back in time, go back to your previous save point, and do the same battle with the same team um, in a double form to see how few Pokemon you can do the back-to-back -back battles like that, like much as I demonstrated on the Nuzlocke run. So I'll give you the full details of that, but that's just to make it a bit more interesting. Otherwise, it's an easy sweep with a singles battle. So we'll do a singles battle followed immediately by a doubles battle. Kind of got the idea from Eustace and his cohorts. So that's going to be the lineup. A bit more interesting um, than normal, I think. So we'll see how we get on with that. Okay, so for your first battle, we're going to have to do the um, Mega Ring side mission. And uh, once you get to the part where you get to Spinal Town, we find Master McCrezzy in this house here. So eventually, we'll give us. He'll give us his autograph and we can continue that. But if you keep pestering him, he will battle you. And that's going to be our first point scoring battle of this episode. So I've prepared a template for this one. He has six Pokemon, quite varied. So it's quite a tricky battle, actually. They're quite powerful and very varied. So the level cap is now at 90. So I've got three tiers in if you think you can manage to sweep him with one Pokemon or maybe a level one and a Pokemon, something like that. Uh, I've stretched it out then, we've got four tiers for two Pokemon, and then quite a few for three. I don't think you should need more than three, if you know what you're doing. So I've got all these all up here for three, and I've put one in there for four and above if you need to. But I would have thought most people should be able to get him out with three Pokemon. And of course, if you can get through without incurring any penalty points, you get yourself ten extras. So there we go. I'll show you what I did afterwards. Okay, so the next battle is up through Onyx, and we have to go onto the rooftop, and we are accosted by Eustace and his two accomplices, and it's one hell of a tough battle, because first of all, you have to defeat, um, what's his name now, Q-Ball and his mate. They have six Pokemon in a very difficult double battle, but then immediately after that, without any chance to heal, Eustace takes you on, and I think he's got five Pokemon. So it's really difficult. So of course, that's going to be our next point scoring battle. So I have prepared a template for this one. Now, I don't think it's possible to do it with any less than two Pokemon, so I put that down as the base. Two Pokemon, uh, obviously you're up to 290, so it makes 180, so if you can get there with two Pokemon, that gives you 55 points. Personally, I think it's impossible. I can't see any way you can do it, um, because like I said, you've got a double battle followed immediately by a single, so probably well, many more Pokemon will need. So I've got next tier's up to three here, 255 up to 270, with 390s make that, and then up to 360 for four, where you get into a more sensible area, and then five and above. But don't underestimate this battle. It's one of the most difficult in the game. Um, going to be tricky to try and figure a way to get through it without losing too many. I, I think the pointless bonus is going to be virtually impossible. Because what I found in my Nuzlocke was you had to try and heal your Pokemon up ready for the second battle while you're still in the first battle. So it's a real peach. Okay, so have I spelled Eustace right? Oh, it doesn't matter. So um, that's the template for it. I'll show you how I get on a little bit later. So once you've brushed aside Eustace, Eustace with consummate ease, he goes, Ugh, stupid adults, oh, we're trying to get in the way. But you never do anything to actually help. I quit. The operation's blown away. You're fired. And you're fired too. I can't fire you, but if I could, you'd better believe you'd be fired. And I'm going home. Okay, so now we can continue with the um, Megastone side quest. Pick it up. And then I suppose the only thing to do then is head to the gym. So I'm going to do a little um, video again. Probably sh sh seeing there's a deviation between the two gym puzzles for the Reshiram and Zekrom routes. Because um, apparently it seems that some people said in the comments that there is, so I'll explore that and then we'll crack on with the gym battle. Oh. 
Okay, so final battle of the series is going to be against Amaria in the water gym. So I've cooked up something a little bit different for this one, uh, mainly because a lot of people are saying it's quite an easy singles battle and you can set up on the first Pokemon and sweep through it with just the one Pokemon. So to make things a little bit more interesting, I said what we're going to have to do this time is you're going to have to do the singles battle, fine, no problem, but you have to save before you do it, do the singles battle, then go back to your previous save point and do the same battle with the same team in a doubles format. So, how few Pokemon do you think you can get away with doing that? That makes things a lot more interesting. So, um, yeah, you might get away with it the first time with one Pokemon, but the second time around you're going to be up against a different team in a doubles format. So, um, points allocation will be as follows. If you think you can do it with just two Pokemon, both the singles and the doubles battle back to back, uh, you'll get yourself 65 points. As you can see, I've upped the ante here because it is a little bit more interesting, this one. Uh, three Pokemon coming into here, up to these points. Four Pokemon up to 360. Five Pokemon up to here and therefore upwards. Um, I put a singles bonus and a doubles pointless bonus because obviously it's two separate battles. Uh, although it's all rolled into one here. But if you can get through the single section without incurring any um, penalties, you get yourself 10 points. And if you can get through the double section, you get yourself 12 points as an extra bonus. So, uh, yeah, a bit more interesting, this one. Um, like I say, just doing a singles or a doubles, yeah, fairly lame. So I think we'll do a back-to-back. -back. I got the idea from the Eustace, Eustace battle to see if we can do it um, one after the other. Makes it a lot more difficult. So, let me just go through a bit of the story first. I've already done the gym puzzle so that we don't have to... Um, don't have to do it on screen. I've done it separately. Although the story is quite different, but it's still fairly depressing. Um, you'll find Amari in different places, obviously, in this room. But I've done a little separate video to show that anyway. Okay, so both the girls are here together. Titania says, can we talk now? And Amari says, well, before that, die laughing as a gym battle, after all. T and she says, curtly, and cuts in, die laughing can wait. You're in danger. Well, what? A lot happened during the time you don't remember. You tried to kill yourself. And you owe Dai Laughing a hundred bucks. Don't you remember? Team Meteor found your bracelets. Now Dai Laughing has to keep them for your life. Also, oh, so you're going to stay and protect me, right? Y yeah. <laughs> hey, what's that look for? Don't worry about the bracelets, okay? Something about treasure them, but they're just bracelets. As long as I have you here with me, they don't matter at all. You understand, right? Yeah. Thank you for always looking after me. I love you, Tanya. I... I... Yeah. It's okay. You don't have to say it. I know it'd be embarrassing for you to say something like that in front of a challenger. She normally speaks her mind. Right. I will stay with you as always. Sorry, I... I'll stay... I'll stay with you as always. So, does she really mean that? Or is she actually just saying that to appease Amaria? Thank you. Oh, shall we have our battle now? Do whatever you want. I'm going to step outside. Yeah, I'm ready when you are, Die Laughing. Okay, so I'll show you how I'm going to come up with a singles followed by doubles battle later on. Okay, I just forgot to mention, of course, as we're doing two separate battles, a single followed by a double, you can, of course, use one battle item per venture. So one for the singles battle and one again for the doubles. Um, obviously help you out a bit there. Uh, it'd be a bit unfair just to say one between the two battles. So yeah, one in each, and we'll go for that. Okay, guys, before we move on, I want to have a little aside and um, to talk about Lin and the origins of Lin. I have a theory about Lin. Um, because I played the game on all the various plot paths, um, all the multiple times I played it, I think I've got a, I've got an inkling as to who Lin may be and the origins of it. <clears throat> now it's talked about um, Lin at, at the start when she apparently was the same age as Sapphira in the orphanage with Dr. Connell 
and obviously she's described as a sadistic, spiteful child. She has great pleasure in um, breaking Sapphira's pens and pencils to make sure she doesn't have eight because she knows that Sapphira has an OCD about the number eight. So she's clearly a sadistic person. Um, but we also heard that she had a session of electroshock therapy with Dr. Connell and she was never seen again. So what I'm thinking is that Dr. Connell thinks that the child has died at his hand and is therefore there could be some serious consequences for him if that's discovered of course. So I think what's happened is that Dr. Connell has taken Lynn's body under the grand stairway to dispose of it to hide the body and say no more about it. Now Adrienne describes when he's down in the, what's the place called now, the Arc d'Astre, the temple down there under the Grand Stairway, he sees a child climbing up the wall when he's there. So I think that Lynn wasn't actually dead and has actually come round underneath the Grand Stairway and starts climbing up the wall and has somehow found her way into the inner sanctum area where the meteorite is supposed to be sealed off and hiding. And it's given her um, powers because we know that the close proximity to the meteorite gives people powers. For example, L, uh, who has no eyes, can now see. So clearly there's some magical powers associated with the meteorite. Um, so I think that Lynn, the Lynn we see in the game, isn't really there. It's a projection from the child's mind. It's, it's merely an illusion that we are seeing. Um, because we hear from um, Anna, who has second sight, obviously she can see our glowiness through the door, she sees what's hidden. And when quizzed about what she's seen when she's seen, when people see, saw Lynn on her hydrogen, she said, I didn't see anything at all. And of course, when Lynn keeps spouting on that steel cannot kill her. Um, Titania, for example, sticks a sword in her just before we take on her at the gym battle. But of course, Lynn is quite unhurt because she's not really there. It's merely an illusion. The, probably an illusion. Um, the Lynn is the adult form that would have would have occurred had she grown up. But it's all projected from the child's mind. Of course, the child is now um, trapped in time as Adrienne was and is still a child. Because there's a couple of times in the game where we hear a voice when we leave the Arctic Astre area, we hear a voice that says, hee hee hee, this is so much fun, come back and play again sometime. Again, as a child, and also in Glitch World, we find a manuscript that says, um, this is fun, I can see everything from here, and I can make everybody play with me, and it's all thanks to baby Arceus. I'm going to repay him by setting him free, and we can all live in a new world together, and lots of fun together. So all childlike, she just hasn't grown up, she's trapped in time as a child. That brings me on to the meteor itself. Um, I think the meteor are all fragments of Arceus itself. Um, I say fragments because there are multiple doors throughout the region. Um, now obviously probably the main piece is in where El was in the Arc de Astri, but there are other doorways spread across the region. So it could be that the meteorite, when impacting the Earth, is fragmented into various pieces, and each piece has been sealed off in a different temple area through behind the crystal doorways. And that's probably why Lynn refers to the, the um, one her piece as baby Arceus, because it's a small piece of the whole. And once they're put together, they will reform Arceus, and that's probably what Team Meteor's goal is, to try and get all the um, the crystal to open up all the doorways, collect all the pieces of the meteor, reform them to recreate Arceus, and therefore use Arceus's power to create the new world that they're always banging on about. So that's what I think the main storyline hidden behind the game is. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how near or far I am from this, but uh, yeah, sounds quite plausible. Anyway, there we go. Let's see, let's see what happens on it. Okay, so last time I gave you a little riddle um, to ponder over. Just watch this little gift first. So it was, I wear a scarf by choice. Charming, I'm sure. Slap to survive, I'll always give you five. So I was looking for a chinchino on this one because it's described as the scarf Pokemon. Um, 
it's either got cute, cute charm, hence charming, or tail slap. And of course, with skill link, it'll always give you five with all these uh, multiple turn moves that it can have. So that's what I was looking for for that one. Okay, so without further ado, let's get cracking into the battles. Okay, so the first battle is up against Master McCrezzy here. If you keep pestering him, eventually he'll succumb and battle you. And he has quite a varied team, but I remember that he starts off with an Ice and Roar that has Intimidate, which is a bit of a nuisance. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go with two Pokemon, but one of them is only level one, so it doesn't really add much to my levels. Shinx here is only level one, but what I'm going to do... If I get there, I'm going to baby doll eyes it. Because it always goes first, I'll get one of those in for sure. So I'm going to reduce its attack by one stage. And I've also got the focus sash. So when it hits me, I'll get another one and then it'll die. So I'll be down two stages. So I don't think it'll be able to do too much, too Marge in that case. So what I'm going to hopefully try and do is set Marge up with some dragon dances. Because I don't think, um, after two stages of attack lowering, that the Ice and Roar will be able to do very much to Marge. Uh, I've got Moxie on Marge as well, so every time a Pokemon does faint at the hands of Marge, my attack will go up again. So I reckon after two Dragon Dances, I'll probably sweep his team. That's my plan. So, 85 puts me at 45, and hopefully 10 fully pointless bonus. We shall see. Right, let's 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 bother him. I just occurred to me then I could have shuffled my Shinx's ability to intimidate as well, couldn't I? Oh, too late now. Too late now. I'm stuck. Yeah, that would been quite good. I'd have been an extra stage down there straight away, wouldn't I? Oh. Yeah, I should have put intimidate on it, shouldn't I? Oh, missed a trick there, didn't I? Hang on. This would get two in, but yeah, three stages would have been, of course been better. So Shinx bites the dust. You've done your job though. I think I might have missed a trick there though. Okay, let's go for a dragon dance. There we are, I didn't do a lot, and I've got leftovers as well, so I should be able to, unless I get, I get critted, I should be able to drag, oh, I tell you what, the AI is getting too smart in this game. Now I bet you've got an electric move, that's why you've been switched in. Hmm, it's definitely getting smarter, I don't like it. Ah, uh, well I got crunch. I've got two stages of speed up, so I should be able to outspeed you. That's what I wanted. Right, so I get third stage of attack boost. Oh, this is sneaky. Now I get intimidated. That was the whole point of bringing Shinx in. The AI is becoming a bit of a dirty dog. I'll get my stage of attack back though once you faint, but still, it's getting clever. It was enough, and I, yeah, like I say, I get boosted again now. Still! Star Raptor, another Intimidate. Which I will get back again, presuming, assuming I take you out. Oh God! I thought I was going to hang on with one. That thing's got a Z crystal. Okay, fly gone. Just keep going with the waterfalls. I think. Oh, 
I hate it when it sticks. Oh, it's not going to freeze. Oh, I it's going to freeze. All right, good stuff, Marge. Oma Star. Right, okay, this time we're going to go for an Iron Head. I think this thing's got a Sturdy or a Focus Sash. I can't think that it's got anything that's going to be able to take Marge out. Didn't matter. Gosh. So I'm hoping, of course, with my two Dragon Dancers, I'll still outspeed it despite the Shell Smash, because an Omastar is inherently slow, and I've EV trained Marge on speed. So two, da two Dragon Dances should be good enough to still outspeed you. It was. Marge gets up. Maldo, another Iron Head incoming. I don't think this thing's got anything to hang on with, is it? Boom! Nice one. Moxie's such a powerful trait. Thank you, Miss Crazy. Hey, not bad. Not bad at all. Well, that was fun. So here we go. Yes, yeah, so once you've uh, pestered Miss Crazy um, and battled him, he will give you... He didn't really expect to lose, but here's the deal though, catch, Hyper Beam. So we get Hyper Beam if we pester him enough and he battles us. And of course, this is along the um, Mega Stone side mission route. Better luck in your endeavors, Starshine. Okay, so let me update my scorecard for that one. So I got myself 45, so that goes to 54 on here. And I got an extra 10. Because I didn't dip into my medicine bag or have. Oh no, I did. I had a faint in my course. I had a sacrificial faint. Sorry. So in fact, I don't get a bonus and I get a penalty. Oh, what the price you pay. Okay. Righty ho. So next up, we're going to be taking on Eustace and his two cohorts on top of the building. So. I'm going to have a blast. Now, I remember I said I wasn't going to do the Shed Inja and Muck combo again, but I'm still curious to see if it actually works if Muck is on an air balloon. Assuming that the AI will take Shed Inja out first, I think all the way down to level one, I, my Muck then, with the power of alchemy, will acquire Wonder Guard, and because it's floating on a balloon, will be completely immune to all moves. So I just want to see if that's actually true. It just seems too good to be true. So I'm going to test it out here anyway. I don't think it's going to necessarily be that useful to me because Muck here in this battle isn't going to be that helpful. It hasn't really, I don't think it's super effective against hardly anything. So um, it might not actually work anyway. I um, mean, you know, obviously I'll get through the first battle because it's immune to all attacks, but then I've got to fight another battle straight after with a single Pokemon. And if Muck's all I got left, it's probably not going to do very well. So I put Stilton and Sooty in as backup. Um, my... Flygon and my Fire One, because obviously the second battle you've got a Sceptile and a Scizor, Skyzor to deal with. So hopefully I can get through them if I can't go through the first battle. Um, anyway, we'll see how it goes. I don't know if it's going to work. I, I'm just curious to see if this combo works. So anyway, I've got 385s, that's 255. I've got 256 on my levels. So that puts me there. At, I could have gone up a bit, actually. I'm right there. Should I lose a level? I'm going to lose a level on one of them. So I go down to 255 and get 50 points. Let me lose a level on Sooty. Um, common Candy. Use. <coughs> oh, sneezes. Okay, so that puts me now down a level. So I'll get 50 points and 10 for a pointless, which is going to be pretty much impossible. So let's just see what happens. I'm just, I'm, I am say I'm really curious to see if this actually does make me immune. Because I'm sure that's something Nintendo will have to think about, and possibly Amethyst, because it just makes it too easy. 
yeah, for example, a double battle that, where there wasn't a single to follow, I, I would win, guaranteed. I, you know, um, so there we go. Anyway, what do you think you're doing? How'd you find out we're here? Did someone squeal? I think they did. Okay, so let me slow it down a bit. We will go with a shadow sneak. It's bound to be worthwhile. Uh, I'm going to use a X attack. Let's see what happens. Feel the pain, wheezing. Oh, I was just saying, praying for it to hit the shit injured. Right, so that's gone. I've got the Wonder Guard, and I'm still floating on a balloon. So I'm now completely immune to all attacks. But I do get a three-point um, penalty. But that's very interesting. Wow. All right, then. Um, how am I going to deal with this battle now, anyway? Let's just do a dragon dance, and we'll go with a brick break on, no, I don't know, you. That's the trouble, see, Muck's fairly useless. But I just wanted a test. Sludge bomb, A. I bet you poison me. Go on, go on, poison me. Okay, I thought it was going to freeze. We oh, didn't. Now I got a shell bell on Stilton, so now I can freely use Earthquake because Muck is still floating on a balloon, and it will still it'll remain there because it can't be hit. It just seems bizarre, right? Okay, uh, we'll go with a crunch on the wheezing. So you levitate, I'm on an air balloon. Muck goes. Oh, I get a bit back from a shell bell. And you're going to keep sludge bombing me. Didn't poison me again. Serena, ooh, ooh. Um... I'm not sure what to do here. I think I'll just heal. I've already lost my pointless bonus. Yeah, I think I will actually. Or will I? I don't know what to do. Would it kill me? I'll just heal. I think I'm gonna I'm going for full restore territories here. I'm virtually on half, and obviously the AI will recognise that it can't hit my muck, so both will be hitting my um, my Stilton, so that's another point. Oh, okay. Oh, see, it took over half. Oh, and I, my attack fell. All right, so you're gone. So I'll probably just keep healing up Stilton every turn. Licky, licky. Oh, now that could... That, ooh, ooh. Don't know what to do here. Full restore. And I'm gonna brick break you. Oh, damn. That hurts. That hurts a lot. That's kind of a shame. Oh. Okay, so Sooty will have to come out now. Um. Oh, that's another three points. Um, mm. Three. Let's 
Is that it? Oh dear. Well, do you know what I could do? I could just use some max revives. Oh yeah, I've got a weakness policy on you, but I'm going to have to heal again. Because I'll not get through the second part. This is what I was afraid of. Oh shit. <laughs> Alright, uh, what I'm going to do then... I've got a max revive, have I not? So that's three, and that's another faint. I'm getting tons and tons of bloody... So that's another point. Shall I just revive everybody? Or do I have to bring Stilton in now, do I? This is a weird situation. Ah, what do I do? Gosh, do nothing. Huh. You stop doing that? Not too bad. Actually, yeah, I'll just kill you and then I can heal you up with Moo Moo. Will that do it? Yeah, near enough. So that's another one. Racking up the points. Oh, I thought I'd kill it. Damn. Stop bloody heavy slamming me. <sighs> Surely the earthquake will kill you now. I better use I better use more. Go for an ultra. Thing is, how am I gonna get through the next battle? I'm not really, am I? That's another point. Right, has he got any more? He has the wheezing. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to max revive. Max revive there on Sooty. So that's another point. And we're going to crunch you. Please don't poison me. You did. Do you believe it? Zangus. Um. Full restore. Or should I kill it first? Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. <sighs> Is that another one I've used? I'll watch it back. I think I think I've got it right. Oh. oh. Taking so long, the records looped around. Okay, any more? Trouble is, I'm poisoned. That's a shame. I don't think this was the plan. Okay, now that's to say, I got through that one. I've cost myself 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15 points, I think. Anyway, no way. F -f 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 -f. I suppose it can't be helped. I'll deal with this myself. Up here, pea brain. Figure it out yet? Of course not. You're probably just some dumb searchman sent by my mother. Well, the police have saved me, right? Congrats on making it through these muscle-headed meat bags. That means you're at least one evolutionary step above these primates. 
I don't know about that. But let me introduce myself. It's Eustace. I'm the victim here of this operation, and he's the brains behind it. He's young, but I've lost enough to know how the world works. People just take whatever they want, right? Well, that's an easy solution to that. Take what you want first. Do you understand? Probably not. See, my uncle's a famous musician, real popular, and he's loaded, but he doesn't do anything with his money, so I thought, why don't I? So we got in touch with these pig night looking goons and had them pretend to kidnap me. Then as soon as we get the ransom payment from my uncle, I can give them their cut and take the rest for myself. Not bad, right? But here's the thing. I can't get rescued before then. And here you are, trying to rescue me. What gives? Well, you know what I'm telling you all why I'm telling you this? I can't let you leave. Okay, I don't think I've got much chance of getting through this. But my experiment served a purpose. Right, what do I do? I'm still on the balloon. Can't have any ground moves anyway. Um, I think I'm going to have to use a full restore on Stilton to have any chance here. So that's another point. Thunderbolt. Oh, gosh. Right. I'll switch. I'll bring Stilton in because a Thunderbolt won't hit me. So at least I've got three Pokemon and hopefully I can use some Dragon Dances because I don't think a Manectric will have much to hurt me. Am I a Flamethrower? It's got Thunderbolt for sure. I don't know what else it might carry. Obviously it's got an Ice move. I'm doomed. But I'll take the chance. Okay, so now I can do a Dragon Dance, hopefully. I'm worried about an Ice Fang. What? It must be, it must have a choice item. It must have. That's the case. It should switch. I'll do another couple of these then. The AI should switch here. Ah, so it's locked into Thunderbolts. Now, on the last battle, I was complimenting the AI for being smart. I think I'll have to retract that. Because clearly, it should switch here. So, although the AI has improved, there's clearly work to do. Because I can just set up now and sweep the rest. Which I'm, I'm happy to do so, of course, but... I shouldn't be. I'm just going to wait here for my sprite to start bouncing. There he goes. Is that four? I might as well max it out. Because it's just trapped into... It's just trapped. I'll do one more and I'll, I'll go for it. Yeah, that should be enough. Okay. I'm a monster now. Yeah, so there's obviously a little bit of tweaking needed for the AI to be properly efficient here. Ah, uh, let's Earthquake you. Sectile. See, he could carry a dragon. What I was thinking was that maybe the AI doesn't switch if it doesn't have a Pokemon that has a super effective move on you. So I'm thinking that maybe none of these Pokemon that, are, that the AI has left has any super effective moves on me. Perhaps it's just a little weakness of their program. I'm not sure. I'm not going to sit here and find out, though. Kaboom! Alakazam! I don't think I'll switch. 
Look at the levels. Level 90. I'm very glad I've been able to do this, though. I mean, I thought I was doomed. Oh, that could hurt. Did almost half a bullet punch. Shush. Should get some back, though. Not a lot. What have we got last? Sharpedo. Ooh, no crits, please. Yeah, just about okay. So you got a life orb. Kaboom! There we go. Second part was was rather easy because of the programming glitch. Thank you, Eustace. Well, adults ruin everything. Okay, let me do the old scorecard. I got myself 50, so it's 56604. However, I did, I think I counted up 16 penalty points. I think. So that goes to 39. So that's a net increase of 34. I think. So that goes to 21, 5, 6, 2, 6, 2, 1. I'll check after. I'll watch it through again just to make sure I've got all the penalty points there. Alrighty. Okay, so last up, we have to go to the gym. Looking forward to that. Not. Okay, so my turn to take on the gym at the end. So as I stated earlier on, it's going to be a singles battle followed immediately by the same battle but in doubles format with the same team. So see how few Pokemon you think you can get away with to do both of those consecutively. It won't be easy. So I've decided to go with four Pokemon. I don't know how useful they're going to be, but my idea is with Widowmaker, I'm going to double team. I'm going to become evasive, a pain in the ass. Because I know, obviously, the first Pokemon that comes out will use Reflect and... Um, light screen so that gives me two turns of double team hopefully a third it'll probably go for a volt switch hopefully it'll miss and i get another one in as many as possible i'm then going to try and do a bit of toxic and poison them and obviously with the elemental seed and my ability um water absorb i'm going to be gaining life back every turn so i'm hoping that the ai won't better do too much damage to me Obviously, because its water moves won't do anything to me, uh, it'll all be their secondary moves, which I don't think are going to be too painful here. So the only thing I've got, though, is when you get to the last one, Deliverance, it's an absolute wall, and Widowmaker won't be able to touch it. Because uh, with Toxic, it has um, hydration, and it'll cure the Toxic, the poisoning. So therefore, I put in double T here with Trick, uh, and what I'm going to do, I'm hoping I'm going to be quicker than it, because I have, I am very fast. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to trick the choice specs onto Deliverance and hopefully trap it into, say, Dive. Then I can switch back one of my, maybe Seismitoad here, for example, with Water Absorb. And it won't be able to do it, because it keeps increasing its physical defense all the time. So Seismitoad here has been EV trained on Special Attack. So I'm going to hopefully hit it with some grass knots. Obviously, it can't hit me with any water moves. So, and I'll probably end up being a struggle fest. So that's what I'm going to do with the singles one. Now, the doubles one is going to be a different story because obviously the two Pokemon the AI puts out against you both have water absorb and it's going to be a right handful. So I don't even know if these four can possibly do it. Um, I've only got two Pokemon myself with water absorb, so... I could probably do with maybe a Vaporeon, but it's an awful long lot of training up. So I'm seeing if I can do it with these four. Um, like I say, Double D is pretty rapid, so I might even get a, a hit in. Obviously, the second time around, I've got Choice Specs. So, you know, a Dazzling Gleam or a Grass Knot with a Choice Specs is going to be pretty powerful. And, of course, Green Goblin. What I've done, i put the Elemental Seed on it. I'll hopefully switch it in if the battle gets dragged under water. And then it'll take on Water Typing, and I'll get a speed increase. So, therefore, Thunder Punches will be quick and powerful. That's my plan. Let's see if it works. Oh, hang on. What, what, what am I going to get? 
Let me have a look at my, my team. There's four Pokemon. So it's 170. I've got uh, 170, 340, 351, I think. 173, 341. Let me just add that up. Yeah, it's 341, isn't it? So that will give me, where am I? 341. Got them all the way up here. Look, 40 points. And 10 and 12. Well, we'll see how it goes on that. I can't see. Maybe the first one, but the second one, probably not. Okay, now I noticed that Titania's out here, so I'm going to quickly have a chat with her. Because she said she was going to do a walkout. What do you say? This is my hell. I can't leave. I want to leave, but I can't. Everything is falling back into this plastic facade, and if I try to break it, her blood will be on my hands. It's a tricky situation. In the end, what I want is less important than her life. This is true. So that's how it is. Turns out... After all my big talk, I'm no different than that, that meteor boy. How pathetic. My methods for dealing with Lynn are clearly worthless. So now all I can do is rely on you like a goddamn damsel in distress. Princess in a tower. Maybe Amy's just the dragon I chose. And Lynn would slay her too. That bitch has a sixth sense of irony and she knows it. Die laughing, please understand the degree to which these circumstances make... Me want to puke every last one of my internal organs out, but I'm counting on you to set me free. Stop Lynn. Well, I'll do my best, but I've got to do this gym battle first. Okay, so what we'll do, I'll save. And we're going to do a double battle, a battle back to back. Okay, Maria. I know why she's so worried. Even if someone did come for me. It's just that lucky mistake I needed. That's all I am anyway. But Tanya will be with me again, so that's all that matters. Do you think less of me? I'll say no. Really? It's hard for me to believe that after everything I've said and done. Well, I am lying. Until she decides to leave, I'll hang on to her as long as I can. Maybe I'll finally go under. But that's okay. Oh, they're laughing. Do you prefer single battles or double battles? Right, so we're going to choose single battles to start with. Yep, okay. I'll go for singles. Uh, but next time, we'll go for double. Okay, here we go. Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's just go on with it. Let's see what happens. It's probably a, t a, a six battle, a six Pokemon with the requirement, but let's try with four. So, Elemental Seed, boost my special, and I get. Aqua Ring as well. So we're going to go for double teams. That's one. Let me just keep it tabs. So you're going to reflect. So now your moves will only hit me 66% of the time. Another double team. Now I'm down to 50% hit rate. With three on less than 50. And it hits me. Of course. Ha! Did over half, that's worrying. So it's three bloomers. Is that three or four double teams? I don't know. I still get quite a bit back though, don't I? Do another one. Oh, there's, there's poison. No, let's go for another double team. Alright, that's not working out, is it? Evasion counts for nothing in this game, doesn't it? Let's poison you. So it can't actually do much to me, this one. Let's poison you anyway. Good lord, it actually missed. So I've nearly got all my health back. This is good. How many have I done? Oops. Summary. I've done... I've got two more. 
Might as well max it out. Oh, she's bringing the Rotom back in. Of course. So I'm down to the kind of hit rate now. You should only hit me one in every four turns. Something like that. But of course, that doesn't work here. So that's... I've been hit 75% of the time, despite my evasion. It's ridiculous. Well, I know this thing can't do anything. But right, let's do another one. That's maxed out now. I can't be any more evasive. Now, of course, this thing is part ground, so therefore I'll tip with liquidation, I think. Oh, I know what to do. I've still got an X. I can use... Oh, did I not say you could... Ah, uh, yes. One X... Sorry, one X. One battle item per battle. So I can use one here. Good. Get in there. So you probably bring. Yeah, Rotom comes back in. Why would you say that? Stay, 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 stay. This I'm going to poison you. Because you're going to put them back up again. Yeah, no bolt switch out, no doubt. Those out. It hasn't missed once with Volt Switch. Is that possible? It breaks very high, doesn't it? It's not quite bearing out on what, on what it should be. I should be only getting hit once every blue moon. No matter. I don't want to run out of PP. I'll oh, just keep going for it. I'm not doing a lot considering I've used an X attack, I must admit. And this has got some adamant nature and it's been maxed out. 252 EV in attack and still doing sod all. Oh, of course, with the light screens, uh, the reflectors helping, but surely I should still be doing a considerable amount more. It actually missed! Okie dokie. comes back. It's a lucky hit in. Again. Shit. And a crit. Bloody ludicrous. For that, no, I'll stay in for you. Slide. Shouldn't do that. Should a bit. Uh huh. Get in there, down the drain. I popped up, pets me back up again.
wishy-washy. Toxic that hasn't missed either. Alright, I've only got four of them left. any potions have I so I'm still good on the old pointless bonus for this one last one now this is the problem I'd like to stay in but I know my toxic will be a waste of time and it'll just boost its um, defenses up and I want a bit of touch up so I think I'm gonna have to switch trouble. Right. Fingers crossed. Trick. I got it. That's good. This will probably kill me though. That's only trouble. So I'm, I'm going to lose three points here. Am I pointless? Ah. Damn, I was hoping I might survive that. That's a shame. Um, size me toad it is. I was just debating whether to put my electrovira in as if that was underwater, but I'd have to take it out in one hit because that dive will kill me. Is that all? That's what I mean, it's an absolute war. This could take a while. Maybe sir. Might do a little bit better. That was a crit though. All right, let's just speed this up. This could take a while. Uh, of course, she's got potions as well to go through. Oh, this is going to take a while. I need a crit, really, to finish it off. difficult you had it if you didn't have water absorbed. You just can't do anything to it. Its defences are ridiculous. First battle tick, but I've got to get through the double as well. Back in the arena, this time we have to face her again, but this time in doubles format. Ah, uh, say no. Really? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's make sure we click, click the right button. Doubles. Go for it. Okay, this could be quite tricky. 
Now all four Pokemon start all have water absorb. So it's all going to be about the secondary moves here and setting up. Sort of double team you. Or should we just go for them? Ah, I don't know what to do here. I can do a special attack on you. A special boost. I can use one per one for, one for the singles and one for the double battle. So that's them all used up. Let's bomb, right? Uh, I wonder if they didn't. I think it poisoned. Rain dance, that's a bit of an interesting tactic. Alright. I wonder if I can get away with a double team. Or will it be any use if I do? Try it. I will go for the grass knot on you. I think it poisoned again! Alright, super good. freeze hands. Hmm, now what? it brought this thing out. Does it have a grasp? What to do, what to do? Does it have a grasp? I don't know. Hmm. It does. Oh, and it's quicker than everybody. Oh, that's not good. Please live. Oof. No! You bugger. Oh, they're all poisoned. Oh, that's not good. Uh, what to do now? That thing is super quick. And the battle is on the surface. Uh, Probably going to be slow and it's going to kill me, isn't it? I might just sacrifice you. Oh, I don't know what to do. Wow. Oh dear, that's another three points. Ah, we're in the water. 
That might help me. Right, so now Green Goblin comes in, but becomes water type, I believe. But I'm on thin ice here, as it were. My speed is boosted, and I'm now a water type. Right, that's good. Well, the trouble is now, I'm... I'm weak to electric moves now, presumably. Oh, damn, I picked the wrong move. You're gone. Please miss. <sighs> Survived. <sighs> I'm going to use. What the hell am I going to do? I'm too slow. Do I still have Volt Absorb as my ability then? I think I do. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to Max Revive on my Seismi Toad. Whatever it is. I think it's worth it. There's two threes and a one. I'll just give up on Widowmaker, don't need it. Unless, of course, I get lucky with, um, with Evasion, which is unlikely. I didn't kill her. Ah, oh, damn. Not good. That's another three points. Oh, you're joking. Look at them both in the red. That's ridiculous. Stressing me out. Right, you have to be poisoned. What? Why would you do that? That means I'm going to have to revive another Pokemon. That's bizarre. That's bonkers. Oh, of course, I thought. It doesn't matter anyway because everyone's going to die in three turns. Alright. I 
have to use a max revive on anybody. <laughs> okay, it's another one. Ah, dear, 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 dear. Well, it doesn't, doesn't does anything on this thing, does it? It's the last Pokemon that uses Perry Song. It's bonkers. I suppose when these two Pokemon faint of mine, that's going to be six more penalty points, but I can't run about it. Unless I just switch one of them out. That's should have provided two. It would make more sense, actually. Protect works three times in a row. Course. In other words, for me. So I win the battle, but unfortunately, Size Toad Fate has another three points. So I make that four fates and two further penalties. So it's 14 points in this battle. And I have three in the first one. So that's 17 penalty points in total, I think. Wow. That was amazing. And there you go. Congratulations, Torrent Badge. Take it. And you can move Rock Climb outside a battle at any time. Except you can't. <laughs> and we get Skull. And Amaria says, Thanks for going along with it, Die Laughing. It's easier to battle with a fake smile. I'm sure you have a lot of other things to do. I'll go now. Are they still outside then? What goes on now? Julia says, you with a face. I do have a face. Not a very nice one, but I do have one. Ring, ringy dingy, ringy dingy dinger. Just rang up from Calcinon City. Apparently things ain't looking too hot, despite the fire gym and all. I mean, she said nothing was blowing up. Believe me, if it were, I'd already be there. I miss those fireworks. It sounds like she'd appreciate some help up there. I told Tanya. I told that to Tanya and she was like, oh. Wow, my cursed sword arm will not allow me to leave this dark realm. So I figured I'd let you know instead. If it were me, I'd just blow up all of Labrador's city. But for some reason, nobody's on board with that plan. So whatever, they lose, I snooze. So there we go. That concludes episode 17. Marvellous job. So we'll save up there. I will always love you more than she or anyone else ever could. Oh, he kissed. Oh, can't wait. Okay, so we'll save that and we'll go through the scorecard. Okay, so last up, scorecard time. So I got myself 40 points, I believe, for the score. Obviously, I didn't get any bonuses because I had fates in both battles. So that lot was blown and I had 17 more penalties. So that goes to 54. So that gives me a net of 33. So that goes to 2654. Pokédex is now looking at 447. Is that all? Is that all I've done? Mm, okay. I haven't bothered to collect a new Pokémon then. <laughs> um... And the other achievement points, I've got, what have we got? All the stickers, nine of them, 45 points. 18 megas and Z, that's 90. 34 field notes for 170. Eight pulse text readouts for 40. 83 TMs for 415. And 15 memories for 75 points. It all comes to 835, I reckon. So therefore... Those two added together comes to 1282. And the grand total is 3941. Now, unfortunately, my phone's run out, so I've had to do this by hand. So it could be wrong, but yeah, maybe. <laughs> I'll check it later. So there we go, guys. That's the end of the slot. Um, obviously, when 18 comes out and goes, 
I'll probably carry this on because it's been a lot of fun. So I'll catch you guys later.